Who wants to make beautiful bias binding using your favorite fabrics, fat quarters? Let me show you how. It's super easy, five minutes, and you'll get three or four yards. Start with a square. This one is 18 inches, and I'm using the 45 degree angle on my ruler to help me cut the square in half diagonally. Once that is done, then the next step is to take this edge of the square, flip it over, and place it along the opposite edge. With, once those edges are lined up, then go ahead and pin them so that when you move the pieces to your sewing machine, they won't move. Then I'm gonna go ahead and sew this edge right here with a quarter inch seam allowance. When this seam is sewn, your piece will look like this. Go ahead and give the seam a quick press to press the seam allowances open. Now use a marker or pencil to mark the width of your desired bias trim. I'm just using one of my kids markers here because this line is going to be in the seam allowance. This is a cutting line. So use any marker or pen that you wish just be careful that it doesn't soak through and damage your cutting mat. So I'll go ahead and I'll draw lines all the way up to the top of the edge here. This last edge right here, this little piece is only an inch so it's not wide enough to be binding. I'm just going to cut it off instead of marking it. Now I'll go ahead and I'll turn my piece over and I'm going to line up the two diagonal lines. But I'm not going to line them up exactly. I'm going to leave a triangle here overlapping. And I need to take care that the lines, this line on this side and this line on this side, they intersect a quarter inch from the edge. And I can kind of see through the fabric that they do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pin there. Here they do. So I'll pin here, pin, and this line intersects with this edge here, so I'll pin, and then I'll go back and I'll pin the beginning of my piece right here where this edge right here should intersect with that line a quarter inch past right here. And it does, perfect. It looks like this. And the next seam that I will sew will be this right here. My sewn piece looks like this. And now, of course, I will press the seam open. And here comes the magic. All you have to do is cut along your line. I hope you cut straighter than this. And you will have one long continuous piece of bias trim. Now, of course, uh, I cut these strips two and a quarter inches wide because that's kind of what I like when I'm making purses and tote bags, sometimes for quilts even. And then, but if you cut your binding two inches wide, you can get more, you can get about four yards to an 18 inch square. And this is going to equal about three and a quarter yards, between three and a quarter and three and a half. But this works with any size square. Sometimes I do as small as a 10 inch square if all I need is a little bit of binding. It's a really great technique because a lot of times, I, if I just cut a fat quarter or cut a half a yard diagonally and cut my bias strips, then I end up with these triangles of fabric that are waiting around in my studio for me to use, and I never know what to do with a big triangle of fabric. So I feel like there's a lot less waste in my stash if I just cut a square off something and make bias binding with it. So there you go. Thanks so much for watching my tutorial on how to make bias binding. You see that I made over three yards of super cute bias binding really fast using some of my favorite fabric. 
So check the links below for where to find this fabric if you're interested. Now what am I going to use it for? I don't know, but I just finished this project. It is a cute little zipper clutch. You see here it connects with a magnetic snap, but there's a cute little zipper pouch inside to hold your cards and your coins and stuff like that. So I just finished this. It's got bias binding all over it. And this project will be up on my website, SoCanShe.com, in a few days. So if you don't see the link to it below, go ahead and visit my website and sign up for my newsletter so you won't miss it. It will be delivered right to your inbox. So thanks so much for visiting, and be sure you subscribe to my channel so you see my new videos. Happy sewing!